if we're to integrate this, you first need to find your u. And hopefully you realize that your u is right there. Because when you derive that, you get negative 4 x to the third dx, which this is right there. This ends up being an overly easy problem because all you end up with is e to the u. This becomes du. Again, this replaces this. This is u. And then what's really dumb is this integral is very easy. The answer to the e to the u is e to the u, but plus c. So our last step, plug u back in. So it's e to the negative x to the fourth plus c. Um, by the way, this could also be 1 over e to the x to the fourth power plus c. Because the negative could also want to drop the power down. Now, 106 here, you have to realize that this is going to be your u. Because when I derive that, I get all of that. But you got to be very careful. u is secant. 2x, but when I derive secant 2x, du is actually 2 secant 2x tangent 2x. And a lot of people forget that 2 there. The reason? It's secant u tangent u u prime. So you got to kind of be careful. The inside has to be derived again due to the chain rule. So be very careful. Do the chain rule of u right here dx. And what happens a lot of times is people forget to divide this 2 over. Because this matches this, but this 2 has to go over and you have a 1 half, which a lot of people forget. So I now have a 1 half out front, a pi over 2, a pi over 3, and an e to the u du. When I integrate e to the u, again, very simply, e to the u. So it looks like we're going to have e, and then let's put u back in, secant 2x divided by 2. And my interval, again, is pi over 2, pi over 3. Because the integral of e to the u is e to the u. Don't forget the 2 on the bottom. Now, you could have left it in terms of u and changed the interval. I put the u back in and kept the interval as is. So, we now have, I can't spell secant. There she is. Okay, we have e to the secant 2 times pi over 2 minus e to the secant 2 times pi over 3 over 2. This is a fundamental theorem of calculus. This ends up being, these cancel. This means secant pi. Secant is cosine, 1 over cosine. Cosine pi is negative 1. So this ends up being e to the negative first over 2 minus. These don't cancel, but 2 pi over 3 is 2 thirds pi. 2 thirds pi of cosine is negative one half okay so this becomes but it's negative one half divided by this becomes you said negative one half but that's under one because sine cosine is one over so one over negative one half is what two. negative two again cosine 2 thirds pi is negative 1 half. 
secant would be 1 over that. When we simplify this down, thank you, e to the negative 2, thank you. So you have e to the negative 2 power over 2. Now what I would probably do here, just for simplification purposes, I would make this 1 over 2e minus 1 over 2e squared. Now you could also get e's on the bottom, you get a common denominator and everything, but that's probably good enough. That would be your answer, which you could put in a calculator.